Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme Video, the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 10th of June. I'm James Spann. A rare June front pushes into Alabama today. That brings the chance of strong storms and then much drier air tonight and tomorrow. There's the upper look this morning. Got a strong trough over the middle of the country. That is going negative tilt. That will bring a chance of severe weather to parts of the Great Lakes region uh, north of the state today. It may be a few strong storms here. That was the radar early this morning, a little before 5 o'clock. We had a few little fingers of showers in progress here. A more organized batch of rain west of the state with that cold front pushing our way. Temperatures this morning are in the 70s. And again, dew points are in the 70s. Very oppressive, humid air that uh, you've been feeling for the last couple of days that was brought northward by Tropical Storm Cristobal. And that will be replaced by dew points in the 50s tomorrow. Tomorrow promises to be a really different kind of day. Wind advisories today for parts of the middle of the country. Flash flood watch for parts of Iowa. And a significant severe weather event possible around uh, uh, Detroit, Cleveland, the far northeastern tip of Indiana. That's a moderate risk, level four out of five. Potential for a widespread wind damage event up there. Maybe a few isolated tornadoes as well. With the trailing front down here, we have a marginal risk, level one out of five. Some storms uh, today could produce strong gusty winds. There's no tornado threat. Tomorrow, marginal risks well to the east as we get into dry air. And on day three, which is Friday, no severe storms expected across the country. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Have your totals east of here, and really not much. After today, we're going to be dry for a while. Rain amounts today probably under one half inch for most spots. And in the tropics, things pretty quiet. That little low in the middle of the Atlantic is expected to dissipate soon. Bottom line is tropical storm formation not expected over the next five days. Model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 060 run, 4 o'clock today. There's that negative tilt trough up north producing the severe weather potential for parts of the Great Lakes region. And down below that, there's a trailing front pushing into the northwestern corner of the state. That's the high-res NAM at 6 o'clock this evening, showing a band of showers and storms on the front, but really not widespread rain. Just for the fun of it, this is the high-res HER at the same time, a little different look. But where those storms do fire in advance of the front, they could be pretty strong. This is the CAPE. The instability at 6 o'clock and the front at that point should be lined up from near Scottsboro down to Tuscaloosa. Values of 2,000 to 3,000 joules are showing up in spots. and But there's no helicity, no veering of the wind with altitude. So tornadoes will not be an issue. The main threat, strong straight line wind. So just keep an eye on the weather this afternoon for that. And then tomorrow we are in dry air. Check out the precipitable water. Shades of blue and brown. Yeah, dew points dropping in the 50s, a good little north breeze, highs in the middle 80s, a very comfortable day. Friday, many spots, the cooler pockets will be in the 50s to start the day. The high will be in the mid-80s. The sky will be sunny. And for the weekend, we stay dry. This is Saturday. And again, there might be a shower over the southeastern corner of the state. But for most of Alabama, the day will be sunny with mid-80s and the same thing on Sunday. Lots of sun, mid to upper 80s, any showers, few and far between, way down south. Next week, we're dry Monday and Tuesday, highs upper 80s. A week from today, upper low on the middle of the Atlantic coast, a trough way back in the northwest, and we're still dry. So understand many places after today could be rain-free for a week, shower-free, which is very rare for the middle of June. Let's go out 10 days. Friday the 19th, still got a broad upper low on the Atlantic coast, and we are still looking fairly dry. So the rain off the European Ensemble not showing a lot, which makes sense based on the modeling we're seeing. Rain, uh, the, the mean is under one inch for the next 15 days. Highs in the mid to upper 80s, maybe low 90s coming out there in about 10 to 15 days. But look at those low 60s. And again, many places will be in the 50s. This is for Birmingham. 
And the latest CPC outlook. This is for June 17th through June 29th. Temperatures could be a little above average if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.